Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's look at one interesting example related to straight lines. We have been given two vertices of a square. They are 1, 2, 5, 8. We have to find out the remaining two vertices. Not only that, we have to find out equations of the four sides of the square. Now how to solve this problem? What should be our approach? Let's think for a minute. Now certainly I know I have to leverage the properties of square. So I'll write down properties of square. Now which properties of square we want to leverage? We want to leverage the first let's try to find out what is this diagonal looks like. So if I just join it. That's a diagonal. Okay. Now what's the equation of the diagonal? Let's put down some alphabets there. Label the coordinates. Okay. Label the vertices. A, B, C, D. We have A is 1, comma 2. C is 5, comma 8. So can I go ahead and say diagonal A, C equation equal to Y minus 2 equal to M is nothing but 8 minus 2 divided by 5 minus 1 into x minus 1. What is this we are trying to do? We are saying y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. So that will give me equation of AC. Equation of AC is y minus 2 equal to 6 by 4. Can I say it as 3 by 2 into x minus 1? Or if I simplify, I will have 2y minus 4 equal to 3x minus 3. Or I will have 3x minus 2y plus 1 equal to 0. Let's check that. 3 into 1 is 3 plus 1, 4 minus 2y. So 3x minus 2y plus 1 equal to 0 is the equation of AC. Let me just write it down. 3x minus 2y plus 1 equal to 0. Good. Okay. Now you got the equation of the diagonal. So which properties we are going to use? Number one property. We will say that the diagonal makes an angle 45 degrees because it is also the angular bisector. The diagonal makes an angle 45 degrees with 45 degrees angle with the side or can I say the square is divided into two right angle triangles isosceles right angle triangles that makes it better two isosceles right angle triangles so you have this angle 45 degrees okay now this is pretty easy like our problems now earlier because you know the equation of the line let this slope be m if I am able to find out, then I can easily find out the equation of this. Once I know equation of AB, equation of CD will be parallel to AB. Both lines are parallel, but it has to pass through 5 comma 8. So this becomes a simple problem like find the equation of the line which is parallel to another line and passing through 5 comma 8. And AD becomes find the equation of the line which is perpendicular to AB and passes through 1 comma 2 same case with BC but it has to pass through 5 comma 8. So once we have find, find out equation of AB it becomes pretty easy. So let's go ahead and find out what is the slope of AB first. Now to find out the slope of AB I will leverage the formula tan theta equal to m1 minus m2 m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2 that gives me I know angle is theta 45 degrees because we are talking about acute angle between the diagonal and the side we are not talking about the obtuse angle we are talking about acute angle so I will say 1 equal to m1 I'll start from here m minus what is the slope slope of the diagonal is 3 by 2 can I say m minus 3 by 2 divided by 1 plus 3m by 2. If you simplify this, you will have, let me write it down here, 1 plus 3m by 2 equal to m minus 3 by 2. Or if you simplify, you will have m by 2 
equal to minus 5 by 2 or m equal to minus 5. There you go. We got the slope. So, we know m equal to minus 5. Obviously, immediately I will go back and say, okay, so the slope of the perpendicular line is 1 by 5 and these two are parallel to each other. So, the slope of this is 1 by 5 and also the slope of the line which is parallel to AB is also minus 5. Now, you see this is pretty easy because you know the slope, you know the point, only you have to find out the equation of them. So, let us go ahead and do them one by one here. Let us start with the let us start with A B. What is the equation of A B? A B equation is y minus 2 equal to minus 5 into x minus 1 or if you simplify I will have y minus 2 equal to negative 5 x plus 5 or can I say 5 x plus 5 minus 7 equal to 0. That should be the equation of a b 5 x plus y minus 7. Now, once you know a b it is very easy to find out remaining all. If I go to c d, c d is parallel to a b. So, that will give me c d equation is 5 x plus y plus k equal to 0, but it has to pass through 5 comma 8. If you substitute you will have 5 into 5 plus 8 plus k equal to 0 or k equal to minus 33. So, the equation of C d will be 5 x plus y minus 33 equal to 0. Next go to equation of A d. A d is perpendicular to A b. So, if A b is of the form if a b is of the form 5 x plus y plus k then this one will be x minus 5 y plus k equal to 0, but it has to pass through 1 comma 2. So, let us find out the value of k. For that it will be 1 minus 10 plus k equal to 0 or k equal to 9. If I substitute the equation of a d will be x minus 5 y plus 9 equal to 0. What is left out? Left out is b c. b c is perpendicular, b c is parallel to a d because we know in square opposite sides are parallel to each other. So, b c parallel to a d. So, it should be x minus 5 y plus k equal to 0. Not only that, it has to has to pass through the point 5 comma 8. That will give me if I substitute 5 minus 40 plus k equal to 0. This is 40. 5 minus 40 plus k equal to 0. Let me just simplify that. Erase that actually. 5 minus 40 plus k equal to 0 or k equal to 35. So, that gives me the equation as x minus 5 y plus 35 equal to 0. So, we got all the equations. Now, what I want you to do? What I want you to do is very simple. You know the equations. Can you solve one equation, two equations like a, b and b, c and find out the value of coordinates of b and coordinates of d? So, finding out B is very easy. You can take A B and you can take B C. You have A B 5 x plus y minus 7 equal to 0 and you have B C somewhere here that is x minus 5 y plus 35 equal to 0. Now, solve them. If you solve them, you will get 0 comma 7, 0 comma 7. Once you got this as 0 comma 7, then we will leverage our next property. What is the next property? Next property is the diagonals bisect each other. We are talking about properties of diagonals. Diagonals make 45 degrees angle with the side because it is an angular bisector. You have isosceles right triangles, two isosceles right triangles 
and the diagonals bisect each other so if one coordinate i have as 0 comma 7 obviously i can easily find out because oops if this is 0 comma 7 i know the midpoint can i find out the midpoint yes 1 comma 2 5 comma 8 if you just check that the midpoint will be 3 comma 5 you know the midpoint you know one this is again one more simple problem you can directly find it out it is 6 comma 3 please do it and check it back whether you got 0 comma 7 6 comma 3 as other coordinates so let me just summarize this interesting problem we have been given two vertices of a square 1 comma 2 5 comma 8 we have to find out the sides of the square equations of the sides of the squares and the remaining two coordinates we are going to leverage two particular properties of diagonals of the square one they are angular bisectors they divide the they divide the diagonal divides the angle 90 degrees right angle into two equal angles so 245 degrees each that means it makes an angle of 45 degrees with the side of the square second the parallelogram property the diagonals bisect each other now these two we are going to leverage the first thing we have been given two vertices opposite vertices we have been told so we can find out the equation of the diagonal once we got the equation of the diagonal we know the slope of the diagonal so we we can take the slope of a b as m and we know the angle between them should be 45 degrees we can find out m by equating the by the formula tan theta equal to m1 by m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 that is how you can find out the angle between two lines now once you got it once you got m this is pretty simple because you have two pairs of parallel sides if m is minus 5 a b then a d will be 1 by 5 and c d will be minus 5 and b c will be 1 by 5 we have point and we have slope so use point slope form and get the equations of all of them you want to find out the coordinates take a b take b c use any one of the method elimination substitution or cross multiplication or cross product you find out b once you know b you know the diagonals bisect each other so if you know the midpoint you can easily find out the other side just cross check whether you are getting 0 comma 7 and 6 comma 3 as coordinates for the remaining two b and d so i leave you here thanks for your time bye for now i'll catch you again in the next session where we will do some more interesting examples we will look into concurrency of lines now suppose what is the equation if a line if two lines are if you two lines are intersecting at a particular point now how to find out the equation of the line which passes which passes through the point of intersection of two lines what is the general equations that we will look into in the next session thanks for your time bye for now